Hello everybody and welcome to a FNAF custom plush review. So uh, today I actually have three plushes that I've just made over the past few days. So we have Scrap Baby, Molten Freddy, and Scrap Crap slash Willie Mathen, whatever you want to call them. So basically just the three scraps from FNAF 6. So these guys didn't take too long to do. I mean, like these two took me like a day combined to make both of them and then Scrap Baby took like a day and a half for obvious reasons, so yeah. So we're gonna go into detail into each of them, starting with uh, Scrap Baby. So Scrap Baby, I'm not the biggest fan of how I made this, but um, you know, because believe it or not, I don't have access to a circus baby pattern, so I had to make this from scratch. So it didn't come out the best, you could tell from the back of the head and these pigtails, which they're not the best, but you know, I made do with what I could. So the face, so the face is just a normal Funko head with a uh, human Funko head anyways, with some detail, you got the mouth, the lips, the cheeks, and the eyes, which uh, you can see I kind of screwed up here, but you know, with her eyeshadow bit and her eyebrows, but you know, it's fine. Her green eyes, and then up here we have her like crown thing, bow, I don't know. <laughs> and then we have all of the little, uh, scrap pieces of felt that are just glued onto the hair because you know she has that and her body which is i sort of tried to recreate the funko baby pattern but it kind of screwed up but it works and here of course we have the two little circles of felt that go here on top of another like semi semi-circle of black felt and then her fan which is just a piece of felt with sharpie on it and then we have the skirt which you know I did the best I could. And of course the main attraction, the claw, which this was very annoying to make, I'm not even gonna lie about that. Having to turn it inside out was a pain, but you know, I think it came out fine, the teeth and the little red dot thing that she has. I think she came out pretty good. Oh yeah, and her legs, which are just gray, the gray legs, the normal legs with little roller skates at the end. It's very cool. So we have a baby to compare to. As you can see, she's a bit taller because I made the body from scratch once again, not an actual baby body. So she is a little bit on the bigger side, but I think they're decently comparable besides, you know, the pigtails. But, you know, Shrap Baby has pigtails that swoop down anyways compared to Baby's, like, more intricate design. So, you know, that's, that's Scrap Baby. Now we have Molten Freddy, which is just, you know, the usual Funko Freddy head. I kind of screwed up here on the back. I for completely forgot it was just a mask and not a whole head. So yeah, I kind of screwed up, but you know, that's a mistake Funko would do. Uh, so the hat is just an orange Freddy hat. You know, I kind of screwed up on the stick here. That will be fixed. Don't worry. Eyebrows, his eyes are just felt with some rims of fabric glued on around it and some little wires and then you know the teeth the nightmare teeth that you usually see on the nightmares you got a nose and then his body is sort of like a mix between the ennard body sort of design with uh this i guess we should kind of screw it up on i kind of made it a little bit too small but it, it works you know he's got his claws you got little wires drawn on with Sharpie to make it similar to this guy, Ennard. As you can see, the bodies are kind of similar, except uh, mine's a little bigger. Which, you know, kind of fits with Molten Freddy, because he is, like, a whole more mess of wires than Ennard already was. Then Funtime Freddy here, we can compare the faces, which, as you can see, are very different, which makes sense. Uh, you know, different ears. He has like little circle bits on his ears instead of the actual like this. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's Molten Freddy. Now we have probably my favorite of the three, which is Scrap Trap, because and it was actually the first one I made, so that says a lot, I guess. So Scrap Trap, uh, believe it or not, I also do not have access to a spring trap pattern, so I had to make this face completely from scratch. So, I, I think I did an adequate job, you know, not the greatest, but not the worst either. So, you know, he's got his open mouth with the teeth, the sharp teeth, and then the stupid buck teeth too. 
There's a bit of withering with the red. His eyes, you can see there's a bit of like skin color fabric to sort of signify his like skull underneath with his eyes, his eyelids. Then he's got the two ears, obviously. One is absolutely destroyed and then the other is just an ear. So then his body, we have, you know, as you can see, you know, he's missing an arm. So I modified one of the arm patterns to include this bit of red and then obviously the white here to rep again represent his bone. You know, I sort of tried to recreate the spring trap withering a bit, his button on the back. Yeah, that's more obvious that I tried to recreate it. Let me your spring trap for comparison. So yeah, he's kind of similar to spring trap. His face is a little bigger, but you know, that's that's just scrap trap, I guess. So yeah, with these three and lefty here, I have the four scraps, which is awesome because you know, Fantastic's birthday is in a like a few weeks, so that's really cool. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and you know, hope to see you all next time. Bye.